Hello, this is the second video demonstration of the SynthTech Wave Editor. I've added a few things since the last release. Uh, this includes the ability to load and save banks. So I'm going to load the ROM C, which is the third ROM that's included on the uh, actual hardware devices. So we can load this. And you can see on the left, all these wavetables are loaded. And we can preview them. Uh, I guess the second feature is the ability to morph between them. So this behaves a bit like the actual hardware now. I've also added ring modulation, so if we take this initial wave and we apply ring modulation, we'll get all these wonderful modes. And then I've added the ability to randomize the effects here by just clicking the randomize button. Now I've loaded up a bank of nothing but sine waves, and I'm going to use this as a foundation to create my own bank of complicated waveforms. Now I can do this by drawing a waveform and editing effects for every single wave, but it wouldn't be very consistent and it would take a long time. So I've added this new feature called the effect editor. And the user interface design is still in progress, but basically here's how it works. You turn on your preview, and initially it just sounds like sine waves. But you can draw on this bar chart to apply wave shaping to all 64 of your waves at one time. Now I can keep applying the waveforms. And then listen to the result. And of course, if I go back to the waveform editor, I can see the waveforms on the left, and this is a completed bank.